Hey everybody, this is Mana Spring Chick, and as you go into, of course, Thanksgiving weekend, of course, for many of you, it is a showy salt black, you know, for the shoppers, this is like the Super Bowl of shopping. It's your favorite time of year to go ahead and get those deals. Now, I don't know about you, but we've got a lot of Black Friday strategies. Some are low-tech. I call this the low-tech, high-tech version. Because see, so many of us are, have our cell phones, and we're used to relying on our cell phones for everything. Um, but here's also the situation, is besides being able to, yes, being able to download and access all those ads on your cell phone, it does eat up power. <laughs> so sometimes it's actually as good to have those printed out ads with you because not only that, sometimes you do have coupons that you can go ahead and use, utilize for additional discounts and sometimes um, you actually need a physical copy and they will not always take it off of your cell phone. But in advance, besides of course researching, 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 looking at the ads, figuring out where you want to go. Um, oh, remember, the leaked ads, they're not always final. Sometimes they're just leaked ads, trying to get people excited and they are subject to change. Um, shopping lists, remember sizes, colors, figure out who you want to buy things for, yes, and extras because there's always extra presents that you need whether it's for Oh, somebody at the office, a gift exchange, um, the cleaning lady, the gardener, the newspaper guy. Although I will tell you, cash always still does work well. <laughs> Map it out. Shop. I always say shop geographically. Not only is it good because you're not driving all over the place, but it also um, saves you time. Usually what I do is I figure out, first of all, who I'm shopping for, what I'm probably getting them, what stores they probably are at. And then I take a look at all the other stores. Yes, I shop geographically um, to see where most of the stores are so maybe I can park once or twice or three times instead of 10 times to go ahead and get it. Now here's the other thing to take into consideration. Like if you go to, uh, well I'll say Best Buy for example. Sometimes there's an area where I love to go to Best Buy but there's a lot of other stores that also, yes, other people like to shop at, which means the parking lot is crazy. Okay, so sometimes if all you're focused on is Best Buy, maybe it's better to go to Best Buy that's kind of solo, a little more hidden, that not as many people are going to go to. Uh, just a little hint. And the parking and the stores, if you're going to a big mall, this depends because for me, it's like the places I'm going, I, I've discovered that when I look through all these ads, that I tend to still go on Black Friday in this heavy shopping period to the same stores I typically go to. However, sometimes on your shopping list you're going to stores you may not be as familiar with all the time. And so in those situations, well, you may not have an, always an ad, but if you're doing some real guerrilla shopping where you're trying to wait out the door, stay out at night, wait to get in, you might want to have an idea of the layout of the store. And yes, it does change beforehand. I know if you're thinking, I don't time to do that. Well, that's why you always, 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 whenever possible, for Black Friday shopping, you shop in teams. Yes, two is good, three is better. If you are picking your shopping mates, okay, now I will tell you, typically it's whoever will get up with you at that hour to go for Black Friday shopping, but sometimes you have several choices, and usually what you, you kind of do team shopping is kind of like, okay, two is good, three is better. If you have a choice to shop with somebody that's either very compatible with you for shopping or is very patient and will allow you to do stuff and then wait for you, <laughs> you're going, what? See, what happens is if you have somebody that's not compatible with you that loves to go shopping too, what happens is you just split up so you lose the advantage of team shopping because they want this department, you want that, yes. Mm -hmm. And paying for it. Right. Oh yeah, you do have to pay for it. Um, know what credit cards have space and or bring the correct credit cards with you. They can look them up. Believe me, they're going to be crazy. So if they don't have to look up your credit card number, they will be much happier. <laughs> and oh yeah, this is not the time where, I mean, if you have a call and find out beforehand or you have blank credit cards, all the better. Make sure they're still active. Um, so when you're buying things at the store, there's not problems because it's really not the time you really want to spend talking, can you just extend my limit another $500 so we, right, it's not the time, okay, because everybody, everybody gets frustrated. Oh, for, and the reason I say bring cash is sometimes there are two different lines, one for credit, 
you want for cash. And usually, well actually I will say almost always the cash line is considerably shorter, right, than a credit card line. Um, munchies. And I say this because what happens is you're thinking, well, I eat like three times a day and I have like, no, no, no. If you are like out there, first of all, you're probably getting up earlier, so your eating schedule is a little thrown off. You get excited, you burn energy a little faster, you might have to have a little more food, have something to drink. Oh, yes. Now, yes, you can always like go through a drive through or pick something up, but you know what? When you're in the moment, you're like just trying to get through and wait. And, you know, you don't want to go stop and have lunch or excuse me, if you started at 5 o'clock, stop and have breakfast at 7.30, okay, <laughs> because you want to just continue going and then get it done and then finish. Um, dress for shopping. Now this is one thing that I would think that most people do, but here's the thing is I'm going to tell you to take into consideration, besides your walking slash running shoes, depending on how crazy you're going after this, is sometimes it's very, very cold. So what happens, you get in, you get overheated, and maybe they don't have any more cards left, which means that heavy coat you have, okay, you have to carry. Now granted, if you're standing outside in the snow and you're waiting in line and it's freezing cold, you will probably have that coat. But if you arrive right after it's opened or started, maybe you might want to leave it in the car so that, that the only time you're really cold is leaving inside because they do run out of shopping carts. The other part is if you are shopping for clothes, the great part is to be able to try on the clothes without having to go to the dressing room. Yeah, we do that. So usually I dress in leggings or something that can slip on so I could, yes, try on shoes. Oh, like I would shop for myself on Black Friday? Oh, well I don't know about you. Yeah, you're shopping for other people, but I always find things for myself too. In fact, I don't know about you, is half of your shopping spent during the holiday season for you too? Oh, because you have these great deals and you have this list because, I don't know about you, but for me, some of the best things to do is I get ma mice, yes, you know, mouse, like, you know, you work with a computer. This is my best time of the year to stock up on mice and memory cards. <laughs> uh -huh. It is. This is the one time of the year that you will be able to get memory cards better than at any other time of the year. So if in doubt, buy more. I guess I'm a really good shopper, huh? Mm. Okay, let's see. Here's the other thing is some people like to go into the stores and some people like to shop online. And sometimes people like to do both. Now when you're shopping online, see here's the part we had already figured out is we had these things we're gonna go catch this on Black Friday. Well guess what? They already had it online and they're already sold out. Can you believe that? But when you're shopping online you have to remember those time zones. We're out in California and that sale might start at 12.01 Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. 9 o'clock, West Coast. Mm. Shop on Thanksgiving. Now, I know they've been talking about um, some of the places where people don't want to come in and work on Thanksgiving Day. This is my secret. Oh, maybe not so secret. If you go in on Thanksgiving, there's hardly anybody there. Yeah. Here's a big thing for all of those people that don't seem to understand this. For anybody that's over a certain age, Thanksgiving was not a day off. Ah. You were worked on Thanksgiving because it wasn't a state and a federal holiday. It was just a time to celebrate and all the stores were open on Thanksgiving. Ah. This is strictly a union thing that shuts it down for Thanksgiving. No oh, other reason. Oh. Now, when I say that I've shopped on Thanksgiving Day, I've been to places that had ads and they started their ads on Thanksgiving Day. I am not talking about that ones that the sales started at 10 o'clock where people were standing outside in the cold. Okay. If, you, if they were open all day long, they were getting ready, yes, it was great. And some of you are thinking, well, if I go in there on Thanksgiving Day, when the sale starts, Black Friday at 12.01, because the store is open 24 hours, there are some 24-hour stores, right? Then you'll get all those. You might get lucky. But I've been in some of those stores that are open 24 hours, and all the stuff for Black Friday, well, it's all wrapped up with things you can't see through. Yeah. So, of course, I was, like, looking to see where it was, so when you go, you, you know where they are in the store. Yeah, they do that. Oh, boy. Um, I so consider returns. 
<laughs> because see some of the things that you get are well let's just let's just say here's the idea on black friday is when you go in there the sale is at that time if you do not buy it now you may not be able to get it at that price period well, yeah we know that we lost a computer and a sewing machine because of that mm -hmm. so this is a time where you have extra space you buy it and then you think about it and then you possibly return it if it doesn't work Hmm. But consider returns. Most of the places, um, oh, actually, the returns are not good for everything. There are some things that you cannot return, such as underwear slash lingerie, swimsuits, swimsuits, open products. Most items can be. Some of them can. But if in doubt, keep the item closed because once you open that software or you open up music, you cannot return it. You can, however, exchange it for the same version if there was a problem with it. But there's also a restocking fee on, a, mm -hmm. on cameras and camcorders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's actually especially good for, I know parents who get all said, oh look, my kids got me this and they open it all up and they're like, oh, it's not what I needed. They return it, they have a restocking fee before they get the other one. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe you'll be lucky enough and the store may waive that, but maybe they might not. Another thing, when I said low tech and high tech, this is more than ever. Remember that smartphone of yours and the tablet? You can download the ads on those devices. Make certain you have your batteries charged. They're great not only to reference ads. Sometimes, you know, I don't know. You know, they have those location things. So if they know you're in the area, they might give you a special deal. Actually, they'll they're using the smartphones and and tablets now to tell you where the people have dropped the prices lower on the very same product mm -hmm. and they're, they're losing business to those they go in but uh, that's why Best Buy is matching because they're going into Best Buy and then checking the prices and then somebody down the street had a better price they just walk out the store mm -hmm. so. so here's part of it is remember I said low tech and high tech it doesn't always work because how many times have we tried where we sell an item we clicked on it, we did it, and it's like they kind of block that portion of the signal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So even though it's always good to have your technology as a resource, do not totally rely on it. Because see, part of it is when that happens, then you have to call somebody up and have them check it for you. <laughs> and actually don't count on the barcode scanners in the businesses of being accurate. Mm. Because really? they, they don't change the prices on them for that short a time period. So you have to have somebody go check it at a register. Oh, and that's also where it pays to actually have a printed copy and have an idea. Because, see, if they bring it up at the register, for them not to do it, if they don't remember it, somebody has to go check. Because, oh, wait a minute. It's on my cell phone. It's on my cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. But printed is still always the best. Mm -hmm. So there's not yeah, there's nothing like a printed copy. Now, online strategies, I'm just going to tell you, that's a whole nother issue. My guess for right now was our Black Friday low-tech, high-tech tips. And for online, okay, that's coming to you soon.